so we'll continue on from the previous class we are discussing which book by shila prabhupad who wrote nectar of devotion who wrote nectar of devotion mata ji iske pehle kon le who wrote the original book mere rupa ko sami that book was called as to answer okay so in the previous class which some of you did not attend we did a recap of whatever we did in the last semester in the previous class we recap the famous verse anya vinasha sunyam jnana karma di anavrutam anukulena krishna anusila nam bhakti rutam so we recap every single word from that particular verse also we had begun the six characteristics of devotional service we had begun the six characteristics of devotional service starting with klesha agni and subhada so klesha agni was what we finished last year in klesha under klesha agni we talked about uh, various uh, aspects of papam and the reaction to papam sinful activity and sinful reaction we talked about the recursive loop in which sinful action and sinful reaction keep on going hmm? sinful action begets sinful reaction. reaction and because sinful reaction we do sinful action and the reason for that was ignorance avidya hmm? that was the that was where it was pointing out hmm? we also discussed prarabdha and aprarabdha aprarabdha is sinful reaction which is stored for a future date and when the date comes then that becomes prarabdha therefore the reaction starts manifesting so whatever reactions are manifesting that is prarabdha whatever reactions are stored in future that are those are called as aprarabdha hmm? we also discussed how can we what are the different ways in which we can uh, counter or overcome or since the first lowermost method is what Huh? Undergoing the reaction. Undergoing the reaction. That is our best. You know? Is that the best? No. That is a foolish way of. That is a reactive way of undergoing. You are undergoing the reaction, and then you are saying, "Okay, it's my." There are two types of people who do that. One are shameless, and one who are contemplative. Both do that. Okay. A contemplative person, a devotee, out of his. humility he says that no i am undergoing suffering because i am a fool and a real fool also does the same thing correct in fact sometimes real fools enjoy the whole process <coughs> for example if they see the positives in getting sinful reaction if a person is thrown into jail he says acha hai yahan pe roti to milta hai bahar wo bhi nahi milta correct free roti is served here inside the jail so like that there was one movie also that pk you know where the american is also saying the same thing inside the jail you know i am at least i am getting better facilities he saying don't watch that movie okay i watched it for a transcendental purpose please do not watch movies but if you have a real reason to watch then you can you can convince people after that but still so they are, they are showing this character who is who doesn't have a house to live because he is an alien who has visited earth so the only way he does is he deliberately goes and pollutes public places okay and therefore police arrest him and takes him inside and then he tells that this is good good idea i get free accommodation inside the jail with free food like that so this is this is actually you know there are people like this also this is called as shamelessness because and you are you are already suffering your sinful reaction and then you are on top of that enjoying that sinful reaction taking it as an opportunity for further sense gratification 
and then on the other hand when sinful reaction comes to a devotee a devotee takes it in a very out of his humility he says that this is because of my sins that i am a dragon actually after initiation it is said that in the agni of in the fire of initiation sinful reactions are gone but still a devotee always thinks that whatever you know is happening in my life is because of my sinful reaction manifesting because i am i am not a devotee like and and while undergoing the sinful reaction a devotee continuously thanks the lord saying that oh my dear lord i deserved much worse itne mein ban gaya thank you very much like that tatheno kampam sushimikshamano munjan eva atma tatam upakam and then he continues paying obeisances to the lord continues his devotional life just like an aircraft does not stop when there is turbulence it continues going through it whatever it is you have to clear that so patiently a devotee goes through without interfering with the lord's plans so we talked about sinful reaction so one way of of overcoming or not overcoming in one sense one way is to undergo the sinful reaction the other way is what karma kand you do karma kand hmm? you do some specific puja hmm? and then to the demigods or the devatas and by which sometimes some demigods can make an adjustment to your sinful reaction they can mitigate to some extent iska rahu dasha barabar nahi chal raha hai ketu barabar nahi chal raha hai pair mein dard ho raha hai you know jaiye ye puja kijiye you know so people do that of course we must understand in kali yuga kalo shudra shambhav in kali yuga you don't even have proper priests who can actually give you the result after doing even karma kanda okay most of them are bogas anyway right so even if you get a good priest if you really get a proper brahmana who knows how to chant the vedic mantras properly okay and proper paraphernalia everything is there the yagya is executed very nicely then you may you will find that the sinful reaction can be mitigated okay however that is not a very wise process devotees do not approach no generally do not do that hmm? because even if the karma kanda process is successful it may end up only touching your sinful reaction but it doesn't remove the tendency or the proclivity to sin therefore the best process is devotional service bhakti yoga hmm? kechit kevalaya bhaktiya vasudeva parayana agham dhunvanti kaatsanyana niharam eva vaskara hmm? just like uh, the sun can clear the fog by its rays hmm? like that bhakti can uproot the weeds of sin sin sinful reaction bhakti can uproot the weeds of very good madhavaran prabhu is listening bhakti can uproot the weeds of sinful action not only reaction in such a way that they will never sprout hmm? so bhakti is like boiling the seeds when you boil the seeds and you sow it in the ground wo kabhi ugega hi nahi so this you have to really really understand hmm? and when you are doing your bhakti vriksha programs you should be able to explain to your members this sequence the topic why do bad things happen to good people and how bhakti process is superior to other processes you had some sudden realization looks like this is why you are smiling okay. others have not found out yet so they are not smiling like i will i'll break the suspense this is lord jagannath's toothbrush from puri we have so all of you are going to have access to lord jagannath's toothbrush directly coming from puri thanks to ram kumar panda who gave us this from inside usually you don't get this okay you would have seen his holiness jayapataka maharaj gives blessings with this yes so this is toothbrush from another day if you can smell it you'll you'll go to that no you'll feel the transcendental world you just smell it it's a different you will not get that smell any that fragrance rather okay so we'll come to that also so that was about klesha agni in the previous class we discussed the second characteristic of bhakti which is called as subhada how many of you did not attend the previous class 1 2 4 you all didn't attend the previous class listen to the text padh I listen to the lecture. I'll I'll recap the important points. So why don't you all recap the important points? What did we discuss in the previous class? 
because this whole chapter has to be etched in your mind. This is a very beautiful section of the whole Bhakti Shastri course. It's such a nice section. Okay, who can recollect what we did in the previous class? Damodar Prabhu, you were there in the previous class? No. No. Rajkumar Prabhu, any, anything you remember from previous class, you were there? Can't remember? I can do the research. Can yes, please. Listen so, whatever you remember, Achha, you, you have not listened, no? I listened to the lecture. Listen to the lecture. All right. Okay, so since nobody is remembering what we discussed in the previous class, we were discussing Shubhada, the second characteristic, or auspiciousness. We discussed that Shubhada and Kleshagni in one sense are related. When relief from material distress, which is called as Kleshagni, happens, then automatically our life becomes Jitne life pe vande kam hai, utna life auspicious hai. Correct? In one sense. So they are in one sense related. As suffering reduces, auspiciousness increases. And these, this particular characteristic of Shubhada or auspiciousness manifests at which stage of Nishtha stage? So we'll welcome Prema Tarangini Mataji. Hari Bo. So we missed her in the class all these days because of her injury. She's back. Mataji, very happy to see you in the class. Welcome back. So these two characteristics fully manifest at the stage of Nishta. Fully manifest. Which means they do manifest at the stage of Anartha Nivriti or the earlier stages. But they fully manifest at the stage of Nishta or steadiness. And therefore the converse is also true. What was that? Correct. If we are not ex experiencing auspiciousness or shubhada, that means we are not on the platform of nishtha. That also is true. If we are on the platform of nishtha, we will experience auspiciousness. It also means that if we are not experiencing auspiciousness, that means we are not on the platform of nishtha. That means we are not doing the process properly. Like that. And we discussed that for something to be called as all auspicious, it must have four characteristics. A. It must benefit everyone. B. It must attract everyone. C. It must produce good qualities. And D. It must bestow superior happiness. Okay. So we discussed these four. We discussed that for benefiting everyone, it, it should benefit not only the human beings but also the trees and animals, it should benefit all strata or segments of society, not some specific sect of people. So bhakti can touch every single living entity in this universe. It should attract everyone. Bhakti should attract everyone. Bhakti should produce good qualities. We saw Srimad Bhagavatam 5.18.12. Yes, yes, bhakti bhagavad akinchana. Sarvayar gunayar tatra samasate sura. So we discussed, we saw that also last class. Then we also saw bhakti must bestow superior happiness. The happiness of, happiness comes from three things. Bhakti, sorry, bhakti, mukti and bhakti. So the happiness of bhakti is much higher to bhakti which is called as sense gratification and mukti which is called as impersonal liberation. So this is and we discussed in this context the happiness of bhakti. Whose example did we discuss? We discussed the example of Kola Vecha Sridhar, who is an eternal associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. How he was selling banana leaves to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, where Mahaprabhu, so pleased with his devotional life, asked him, give me a boon. And he said, I don't have any desire, except that let these pastimes always be manifest. Life after life for me. I don't mind coming another lifetime in this poverty-stricken condition, but let me have you always haggling with me, negotiating with me for banana leaves. So we saw that. It's a very sweet pastime. 
So we saw that last class. Okay. And then we had a very nice session which was off the camera, right? Where Sachinandan Balram Prabhu had asked a question how to what prevents us from coming to the platform of Nishtha? So, what prevents us from coming to the platform of Nishtha? Today? The desire. the desire to come to the platform of Nishtha. The lack of that desire prevents us from being there. I don't have a desire to go to France, therefore I am not going to France. The moment I desire to go to France, if there is an intense desire to go, then I will do something at least. Beg, borrow, steal, but I will do something. But we take take it chalta hai. Because of chalta hai approach, therefore we find it difficult to cross the stage of anartha nivriti. And for and many years pass on in anartha nivriti. Today, Her Grace Narayani Mataji had come for our Bhakti Vriksha program. She gave a very nice class in the Mill Park Bhakti Vriksha program, which was not held in Mill Park today, but was instead held in Achinandan Balram Prabhu and Rani Revati Mataji's house. So, Mataji had uh, given a nice class on Anartha Nivriti. She said there are many things which prevent us, hmm, why we stay in Anartha Nivriti. Hmm. The desire for sense gratification, as long as it is there, we will remain in. Difficult for us to come to the platform of Nishtha. Okay. Bad habits come back, which we had left. Bad habits which we had left when we entered devotional service will come back, could come back at a later stage. Bohat din ho gaya, you know, I have not heard, you know, Sahagal, for example. You know. Or Muhammad Ravi, like that. Okay, it may come back, those desires may come back, like that. So, and if we succumb to those desires, then we will remain on the platform of Anartha Nidhi. We may even fall lower. So we have to also always be careful, she said. Hmm? Lay or sleep. That is another thing which excess sleep, which prevents us from progressing in bhakti. Hmm? Desire for uh, recognition. Hmm? That is another thing which prevents us from coming to the platform of nishtha. Because nishtha means consistency. Consistency ka matlab kya hai? Consistency means jo bhi ho jaya, I am my sadhana is the same. Hmm? Sometimes we, we are not consistent in bhakti. We are too dependent. Hmm? We, we, hold a, we hold our bhakti to ransom based on how good we feel in bhakti. For example, if all devotees and all are saying Hari bol to us, we have very nice relationship. Ujari always gives us garland. You know? hmm? Everyone is treating us very nicely in the congregation. Then we do bhakti very nicely. And the moment we get hurt, hmm? we talked about this many times, Bura lag gaya syndrome, Mataji ko bura lag gaya, Prabhuji ko bura lag gaya. So the moment we come under the bura lag gaya syndrome, then we stop doing bhakti properly after that. Maja nahi aata hai, sab politics hai mandir mein, you know? something like that we start saying. So our bhakti is very conditional, it very, it's very dependent on how other people are giving us happiness in bhakti. With that, we cannot come to the platform of consistency because consistency means no matter what, I am going to do it. Okay. Hmm? So, Mataji was, of course, Mataji didn't give this example, but she was generally speaking on this. This is application of that example in our lives. <laughs> like that. Anything else you remember? What other point she said? Comes. When we remember that, like when we remember that, like, like you will have less desire, like you will have more desire. How did you hear that? You are not even in the class. No, that's what I was saying. I listened to the lecture after. No, no, I'm talking about Narayani Mataji seminar today. I'm not talking about our previous class. But actually you're right. Yes. <laughs> Maybe Lord Jagannath toothbrush is doing wonders. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. So Mataji talked about two verses which are pertaining to moving from Anartha Nivriti to Nishtha. 
ಶೃಣ್ವತಂ ಸ್ವತ್ ಕಥಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಶ್ರವಣ ಕೀರ್ತನ ಹೃದಯ ಅಂತ ಸ್ತೋಹಿ ಅಭದ್ರಾಣಿ ವಿಧುನೋತಿ ಸುಹೃತ್ ಸುತಂ ಶಿ ಟುಕ್ ದಾಟ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ನಷ್ಟಪ್ರಾಯಶು ಅಭದ್ರೇಶು ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿರ್ ನೈಷ್ಠಿಕಿ ಸೊ ಶಿ ಟು ಪ್ರಭುಜಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅ ಚೇರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಮನ್ ಆಫರ್ ಅ ಚೇರ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ವರ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಶಿ ಕೋಟೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಓವರ್ ಕಮ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ನಿಷ್ಠ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ಬೈ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಶೃಣ್ವಥಂ ಸ್ವ ಕಥಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಅವರ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಶುಡ್ ನೆವರ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ಡ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಗೇಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಗೇಮ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಇವನ್ ಒನ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಉತ್ನ ಬಿ ಹಮ್ಕೋ ಟೈಮ್ ನೈ ಹೇ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಗಾಡ್ ನೋಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬಿಸಿ ಇನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ನೋಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬಿಸಿ ಇನ್ ಆಹಾರ ನಿದ್ರ ಭಯ ಮೈಥುನ ಸಮನ್ಯ ಮೇತತ್ ಪಶುವೀರ್ ನರ ರೈಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬಿಸಿ ಇನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದಿನ್ ನಿಕಾಲ್ ರಹೆ ಬಸ್ ಸಾಲ್ ಕಿಶೋರ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅರ್ನ ಗುಜರ ಜಾಯ ದಿನ್ ದಿನ್ ಕೆ ಹರ್ ಪಲ್ ಗಿನ್ ಗಿನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಬಸ್ ಅವ್ರು ದಿನ್ ಬಿ ನಿಕಲ್ ಜಾರ ವಕ್ತ ಬಿ ನಿಕಲ್ ಜಾರ ಇದೆ ಬಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಡೇ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಟು ಫೇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಿ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಹಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಯಲಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಸರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಸರ್ಮನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಪರ್ ಡೇ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಎವರ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೀಚರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ನೋ ಆಫ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೃಕ್ಷಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕೊಲ್ಯಾಪ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೃಕ್ಷ ಸೆಲ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೆ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ದೆ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಏನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಆಪನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ಅರೆ ಯಾರು ಓ ಇ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಾಪಸ್ ವಾಪಸ್ ಬರ ಆತ ಯಾರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಫೈಡ್ ನ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯು ದೇ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಸಾಧನ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಓ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಕೋ ಬರಾಬರ್ ನಿಚೋಡಂಗೆ ಅಭಿ ಆಜ್ಕಲ್ ಓ ಇ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಾಪಸ್ ವಾಪಸ್ ಬೋಲ್ತೆ ಸೋಲ್ ನೈ ಹೇ ಬಾಡಿ ಏನ ಸಾರಿ ಬಾಡಿ ನೈ ಹೇ ಸೋಲ್ ಹೇ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಓ ಇ ಅಭಿ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಹಮ್ ಲೋಗ ಫಿರ್ ಸೋಚ ರಹೆ ಹಮ್ ಲೋಗ ಅಭಿ ಏನೋ ಅಭಿ ಕ್ಯಾ ರಿಪೀಟೆಟಿವ್ ಹೋ ಜಾತ ನಾ ಫಿರ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅ ಕಾನ್ವರ್ಸೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ತೊ ಮೈ ಆರ್ ಮೇರೆ ಪ್ರಭು ಜಿ ಸೋಚ ರಹೆ ಫಿರ್ ಕ್ಯಾ ಕರೆ ಅಭಿ ಫಿರ್ ಮಂದಿರ ಮೇ ಆಯ ಕ್ಯಾ ಹಮ್ ಲೋಗ ಅಭಿ ಫಿರ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ on top hmm? just like in office we do that no we do this certification then we say keep the certification current you know so delta pack karte raho 1.1 1.2 hmm? just like that here also that is required especially for a preacher hmm? and if we are not a preacher then more we need it <laughs> we need even more correct because if we don't do it then we will never come to the platform of preaching mm. and more and more and even more for our own self application mm. if we are preaching now our members will keep us in check if we are preaching they will keep us in check mm. prabhu aapne to bola aisa karna chahiye aap khud karte ho kya so what if they look at us and ask us that question mm. at least check mein to rahenge hum log karte nahi rahenge alag baat hai at least check mein to rahenge like but if you are not preaching you will say ah, aisa hi hua hai kya hai and we will think that that is humility and so okay prabhu i'm not very particular about what people think of me we have to be particular because we are prabhu pats ambassadors we have to be particular we have to be sensitive about we have to set examples in the congregation
ಅಷ್ಟಪ್ರಾಯಶೋಪದೇಶೋ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆ ಸೊ ಯು ಮೇ ಕಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ದಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ರನ್ ಬೈ ಕೇಶವ ಪ್ರಭು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ರೆಜಿಮೆನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ಲೇನ ಪಡೆಯ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ನಾಟ್ ವೀಕೆಂಡ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಸೇವೆಯ ಒಕೇಶನಲ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಸೇವೆಯ ಮೂಡ್ ಆಯ ತವಿ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಸೇವೆಯ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಟೂ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಭಾಗವತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ ಭಾಗವತ್ ಸೊ ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ ಭಾಗವತ್ ಬೈ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಶೆಲ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಶೆಲ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇನ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಶೆಲ್ಟರ್ ಕ ಜರೂರತ್ ನೇ ಸಬ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಕು ಸೌಗಾತ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಾ ಶೆಲ್ಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏಕ ಮಾರಾಜ್ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಭು ಪೂರ ಸಬ್ ಮಾರಾಜ್ ಕು ಶೆಲ್ಟರ್ ಲೇಲಿ ಮನ್ ಕೆ ಅಂದರ್ ಆ ಅಕೌಂಟಬಿಲಿಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ನೆವರ್ ಕಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಶು ಟೇಕ್ ನೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಕುಚ್ ನೇ ಅಬ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಜಾನೆ ಕೆ ಕೆ ಜರೂರತ್ ಸಬ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ತೋ ಹೈ ಸಬ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಪ್ನ ಹೀ ಯಾ ಓಕೆ ಓ ಗೋಡ ದಟ್ ರಹನೆ ಕೋ ಘರ್ ನೇ ಸಾರಾ ಜಾ ಹಮರಾ ವೇಸಾ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಜನರಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ देयर ಇಸ್ ನೋ ವ್ಯವಸಾಯಾತ್ಮಕ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ देयर ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ನೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ therefore shelter is a very important concept take shelter of a mahabhagavat there are many in iskon so we have to come to the platform of shelter only then serious devotional life will begin otherwise there is no commitment because after shelter initiation will come in front of fire we have to take vows then we have to do it so remaining in one round two round six rounds to start everyone will clap are very good are bol six rounds like that but we should not remain in that stage we must come to the platform of 16 rounds hmm? we, and worst is 7 to 8 rounds kar, karta hu we should not even remain on that platform 7 hmm? to 8 rounds means how many rounds 0 0 it actually means that 7 to 8 karta hu which means that kabhi karta bhi nahi like that so it should be 16 we should come to the platform 16 rounds take shelter of spiritual master so if we haven't done that we should quickly come to that platform hmm? and then t- make a commitment then nishtha will start at least that's one step towards nishtha so that was about shubhada hmm? so all these characteristics will start manifesting when we come to that platform klesha agni and shubhada the third characteristic of devotional service is called as moksha laguta kru moksha lagutakrit means what moksha is laguta laguta means very easy na yeah. insignificant laguta means insignificant okay laguta means insignificant hmm. so the happiness of liberation becomes insignificant against the vis-a-vis the happiness that one derives from devotional service hmm? now moksha laguta krit manifests at which stage at the stage of bhava hmm? bhava stage doesn't mean bhav khane ka bhava means ecstasy devotional service in ecstasy otherwise as we progress our bhav becomes more <laughs> in one sense we become very complicated after a few years in bhakti because people call us senior devotees that is different bhav this is bhava right or ecstasy so <clears throat> moksha laguta krit manifests at the stage of bhav in this context we discussed then we discussed something in the previous class about liberation can anyone recollect that point it's a very important point we discussed in the previous class i don't know how many of you remember yes sometimes we uh, now also we uh, pray for liberation like when we are in in night or when we are in trouble we pray for liberation correct okay but not you are there and you are you are around the point but not on the point to the point when we are fearful yes who said that you heard the class or what last time 
क्वार्टर लिबरेशन इज ओके फाइव सिक्स अयोध्या एनीथिंग इज ओके फॉर उसमें कोई टाइप नहीं है पहला यहाँ से होटल टाइप तो बाहर में आता है इधर ही वाला है एक स्टेज में लफड़ा वाला वो बाद में सारा रुपया सारा रुपया कुछ भी लोग मैंने यहाँ से निकाल पर बॉस का रूप में देखा अब एक्चुअली मेरा तो स्टेज आर वी रियली वरेड वेदर बिशन के सारा रुपया मुक्ति और वेदर बिशन के साथ सारा रुपया मुक्ति इस दर और कंसर्न राइट नाउ इन लाइफ वे आर स्ट्रगलिंग एट अ मच मच डिफरेंट लेवल राइट � and because we are fearful, we are always this is our problem today I asked Narayani Mataji a question any question? she asked Mataji, how do we stop worrying? we are always worried what will happen to the economy jobs are not much in Melbourne, Victoria what will happen? I have taken mortgage I have reverse gearing, I have taken two houses what if rents collapse? What if Australian economy? What are what happen? The interest rates go for a pass. <coughs> Something like that. Tsunami se bhi itna nahi darde hai. Because tsunami mein to sab gaya. Achha, hum bhi gaye. Jo rehta hai, usko problem. Tsunami ke baad, khane ko bhi nahi rehta. Right. So we are not worried even as of tsunami or earthquake as much as we are, we are worried of living and suffering. Death is. <coughs> Living and suffering is our biggest worry that I live. Suppose sometimes you know people bless we they when they were you know, especially you know in our relatives and all because usually you know they will not nobody is going to bless Krishna Bhakti Bhadha hai aapka. You know, normally what they will say, I am Aishwaryam Bhava, something like that they will So may you live for a hundred years. Hands up if you want to live for hundred years, anyone in this room. Really if someone tells you you will live for Aapki bahut lambi umar hai, sir. आप 1990 तो पक्का हो गए मतलब आई वांट टू रिटायर एट 50 मींस माय आई हैव टू कंटिन्यू फॉर दिमाग में ऐसा आ रहा है उठा ले दिल्ली उठा लेना बिफोर इन्फ्लेशन कैचेस माय नेटवर्क उठा ले क्योंकि देवी को मारा है दुनिया में करेक्ट that is our problem. So we are fearful. We are worried. So who wants to know the solution? Sorry, who wants to know the solution? Who wants to know the solution? So Mataji, I asked, there is nothing great about it. There is nothing innovative about the solution, but she put it in a nice way. She said that we are fearful because we do not see in our life. It is there. But we can't see that because of our lack of faith. We can't see Krishna has having a plan when things don't go right for us. When things go right for us, we are able to see Krishna's plan very easily. Hari Mahal Prabhu, by the mercy of the Lord, promotion I got all going to Prabhu. That is very easy. And we can go humbly in the congregation and tell you good news to everyone. Correct? When there is lafra, then we are, then we are not so, you know, Prabhu, by mercy of the Lord, I lost my job. Prabhu, I can really see Krishna is interfering in my life for my purification. What is it? So, what is it? It's a very low state. So, we have to really understand what the what the acharyas are saying, and. When we go into this section, just थोड़ा बाद में theoretically भी जा ठीक है okay अभी next step क्या है भाई मोक्ष बता दो जब तक तो इधर हो गया अभी ये हो जाएगा ये हो जाएगा not like that to really see where we are we are stuck we are stuck actually and so therefore we have to do lot of sadhana to become fearless so that is where माता जी said प्रभुपाद she quoted प्रभुपाद प्रभुपाद said chant your sixteen rounds attentively and you will have no problem which doesn't mean that birth which is older in the air. Yep, you know. Uh, misery won't come. Misery you cannot avoid in this mental world. But suffering you can avoid. Misery is cannot be avoided. But suffering can be avoided. 
Yeah. Misery is there. It's a characteristic of this material world. But it's all around us. But we will not be suffering. So we have we will become transcendental group. Right. She was she is a very simple lady, Arani Mati. She was saying that Lord Krishna provides for everyone. Will he not provide for you? He provides to the birds, to the beasts. Is a pardon me, you know, when we come across this section, no, we have a tendency. Ah, take it, take it, take it. I know this philosophy. You know, to skim through quickly. But actually, if you see it, you start thinking, Lord Krishna provides to anyone, will he not provide to me? Then then it's really a question of our faith. We are fearful because we believe that maybe man has a problem. He may not provide for me. So therefore, she said that we have to chant our 16 rounds attentively. That is the root cause of all our suffering. Misery will be there. The root cause why we are feeling the pain of Maya is that. For example, gravity is always acting on us. But if we have wings, by controlling the flow of air above the wings and below the wings, is man not able to defy the gravity? He is able to. That's called as an airplane. Right? So, but it doesn't mean gravity thing. So, dunya mein problem to rahenge rahenge. But, I am able to still transcend that. That is what we are talking about. We cannot change the nature of this material world. We cannot say, you know, okay, one Masih hai, Nikhil aata hai, what is that song? Andheri Rath, whatever. The Talwar, somebody is coming, abhi sab zul mitt jayega, abhi sab zul mitt jayega, abhi sab zul mitt jayega, abhi sab zul mitt jayega. Because Srimad Bhagavatam says that Kaliyuga Tatascha Anudinam Dharmam Satyam Shavacham Shamadaya Kalena Balina Rajan Nangshidhi Ayu Balak Mati. Never it is said, one Robin Hood will come, ek Masiha nikalta hai, there is no such verse. Okay, who is called Lok Sahencha over there. Correct, no? There is no such Sahencha. There is only one Sahencha who will come, Kalkiya Avata. He will finish everything. That's all. Correct. But that is too late. By that time, Hum Lok Thak Jayenge. Even next 20 years of life, if we think, in this economy, next five years also we don't know how it is going to be. Correct? So who is going to wait till the end of Kalki? We want to wind up our material life fast and go back. Which is not a bad idea for us. Except that devotees may say that, okay, I may not want Sayujya Mukti, which is impersonal. We are going to come to that. But still, the whole idea is we don't want to be in this material world at least that Desire will come as we, as we, as we really start enjoying the process of bhakti, and our material desires go down, then we we will we may get that desire that I want to go back to the spiritual world. How nice it will be serving Krishna with all the devotees, etc. Right? And then above that is that you know, people like Jesus Christ or uh, Bhakti Dev Swami Maharaj whose prayers are that or Vasudev that. Let all the sins of the world come upon me or let me come back again and again into this material world. Doesn't matter. As long as I am in your service. That is a very high prayer. Not ordinary souls cannot pray like that. That it's okay, I'll come back again into this material world to suffer job loss, to again do my 12th standard exam and plan for my career. And at the same time, I'm coming on your mission. Use me as you want. Generally, we want to get liberation. If you actually think inside your heart, and not maybe, I'm not talking about everyone in this room, maybe some of you are there, but certainly for me, when I'm thinking, many times I've prayed. I told last week also, I have been praying for liberation. It's been so bad. Right? Yeah. Guru, can you please explain that liberation when I'm thinking liberation is that? Merging into the Brahman effort. I am coming to that now. Now I am going to come to that section. So, Prabhuji, huh? how far or practical it is to really see Krishna's plan in day to day life? It's only the faith factor or to have the faith in Krishna? That's your answer. That's, we answered that question last time. Okay. 
Bhakti is awarded. Which means the ability to see Krishna's plan in our lives is also awarded to the Lord. We cannot, we cannot say, Prabhu, I am pure Bhakti Vanuga. Because it's like saying, when will I, when will I get the World Cup? When you will sincerely work for it. Of course, their merit is required to win the World Cup, in one sense. But we are all operating under mercy quota. So therefore, if you are asking, what was the question again? How can we see Krishna's plan? How can we see Krishna's plan? Okay. How can we see Krishna's plan? Apply the lessons which we learnt in the last class. How can we see Krishna's plan? He is asking. In this kind of situation, we saw, we heard last time, last last class, we talked about the power of. Because yes, we are doing Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smarana, which are the three angas of bhakti. But we all we generally tend to ignore. Correct. So pray. Prayer has got that power. So we have to pray. So whenever Narayana Mahatma was saying that today. She was saying that in the class. She said that go and pray to Lord Balaram. He is the most merciful Jesus. And for us it is Lord. Balaram as Lord. Same person. So we pray. Stand in the leftmost corner. And then talk to the Lord. We have to talk to the Lord. That is one sure shot way. That's, that's, that's a very nice way of just telling the Lord that Abhi hai hai problem. Abhi hai to hai problem. Kya kare? Correct? So tell that problem, tell your desire. So if you have a desire, what was your desire just now? To see, to, to see be able to see the Lord's hands. No, that also He has only to award us. Correct? But, ek cheez hai. Our, the only thing that is in our hands is to endeavor with sincerity. This is the only thing in our hands. There is nothing else in our hands actually. Ye ek hi cheez hum kar sakta hai. Karmane varikaraste. Mahabhali, we can only endeavor. We have no control over the results of our activities because they are given by him. Mahabhali. So we can only endeavor with sincerity in any situation. But we can endeavor and pray. When we endeavor and pray, that's a beautiful combination. See, when we only endeavor, what will happen? Only endeavor karke, agar karma ke wajay se success aage ya. So pride I am a self-made man. I have put the empire khada kiya hai. People talk like that. When you endeavor and you get success, then you will get pride. When you endeavor and you get failure, then what will happen? Blame. You will blame. Correct. So many symptoms are there. You will blame. Hey, ta kya kuch nahi hua. Or you will say, Something like that. So then we do we, we blame someone. But when we endeavor and pray with that, when we get success, we will have gratitude. And when we fail, then we will also understand that it is the Lord's plan. Because when the break here, that means it was not his desire that I should succeed with that. It's very simple. Again, we go back to our basics. A child goes, who is 10 years old or 7 years old, he goes to the, he has 10 rupees in his pocket. He goes to the cigarette wala and says, Vaya, Rathman uh, Sena. Vaya, what he will do? He will say, Kitna hai? 10 rupees na, thikai, 2 milega. The same child will go to the father and say, Daddy, Rathman, 10 rupees I have. <laughs> what do you get? Slap. So one, slap. <laughs> That means that fellow loves you or what? That one wala. The girl does not frame for that. That's the rupee that you have to do. Father is a good one. Father doesn't love me. That one wala is a good one. That's a good one. That one wala is a good one. So does anyone talk like that? No. So therefore, when we don't get the results of our activity, but we are praying, then we will also be able to Understand that he did not desire to give it to us because it was not good for us. So we will we have to start seeing the love of the Lord in our lives. For that our endeavor has to be very sincere because then he has to award us with that consciousness by which we are able to see those things in our life. 
राइट नाउ अवर साधना इज द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम अपना साधना इज वेरी वॉट लैक लस्टर दिस इज हाउ अवर साधना इज एंड वी मेन्शन इन द लास्ट क्लास वी आर ओनली कंप्लाय हम लोग कंप्लायंस वाला भक्ति करते हैं सर्वेंस ऑक्सली कंप्लायंस आई एस ओ नाइन थाउजेंड कंप्लायंस सिक्सटी नॉट हो गया क्या हाँ हो गया मीट खाते हो नहीं खाता हो दारू पीते हो नहीं पीता हो टी कॉफी भी नहीं पीता सो इट मोर कंप्लायंस देर इज मोर लव इन अवर सारा बट कृष्णा कैन बी अट्रैक्टेड ओनली बाय लव हिज मर्सी विल कम ओनली वाई बाय लव हिज मर्सी कंप्लायंस विल नॉट अट्रैक्ट थोड़ा बहुत ठीक है ओके सर अच्छा बच्चा है ठीक है But really, if we want, then we should start developing our loving relationship with the Lord. That is very important. Rajiv, what's your question? Yeah. Uh, you know, we were discussing about uh, praying for liberation. Ah. Uh-huh. Devotee is praying uh, to get rid of the miseries because his miseries are hampering his spiritual sadhana, spiritual progress, or whatever. Then is that the lower platform than? Uh, Higher, higher platform that we discussed about Jesus Christ. Correct. It's obviously yes. It is because the moment you say nishtha, then you will not be praying for a met, for mitigation of a material circumstance, so that your bhakti is progressing. You are in nishtha means you are already your bhakti is steady regardless of material circumstances. So you are not praying that you arrange my material circumstances. Correct. And after that, what is next stage? Is ruchi taste again? फॉर एग्जाम्पल किसी का आम पसंद है और शुगर है डायबिटीज है तो आम खाता है आदमी बिल्कुल खाता है डॉक्टर ने बोला मत खाओ फिर भी ऑटोमेटिकली बोल कोई है क्या वाइफ चाइल्ड बोले वाइट बिकॉज यू वॉट अ टेस्ट फॉर डायबिटीज नो मेटेरियल सिचुएशन के नॉट स्टॉप यू अगर मौत भी आए तो ठीक है मौत आएगा तो आएगा आम खा के जाते हैं करेक्ट एक अल्पन सा मैंगो हटके खाके जाने दो मिजरी आए तो आए यार क्या फर्क पड़ता है और मी आई लव मेरे को इतना टेस्ट आ गया है लाइक दैट जस्ट रिप्लेस एंड नाउ पुट द इक्वेशन देन यू विल नॉट बी टू मच वरी कॉन्टेनियसली नाउ फ्लोइंग Don't they say words, but when Prabhupada says some words in Bhagavatam, the devotees still have to be careful about maintaining their material standards. They cannot be too poor. Correct. That is because we are not on the platform. Who is Prabhupada writing to? Not Paramahansa. Prabhupada is writing to the common man. That's why he established this one. He is writing to most of mankind, which is not on that platform. So Prabhupada is giving practical advice. Practically, we cannot pray above our realization. Okay, so one clarification. Is there lack of faith and uh, <coughs> we are worried about certain number of things? We like I feel like uh, even if some basic material goals have been hit in terms of uh, I have faith that I will not die of hunger or my children will not be able to go to food. That worry is not there. But the endeavor, but we tend to strive for a higher level of comforts in later stages of life. We want better things than the basic things. We are not satisfied with the basic comfort. So what is enough? It's basically after I retire, I need to have this, 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 so I can actually let's say travel around the world. I can do this thing, that thing. So we start.
professional life. And then he is looking at me. They do? I said, no, but... Yeah. Right, so we haven't really taken the elevator. No, 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 no. We have taken the elevator. 
we have taken the elevator again that's where i gave the aircraft example also last time because we come to bhakti now we think we progress slowly the more we deeper and deeper we come into bhakti the more you will feel that you are progressing slowly the less you are in bhakti the more you will think you are progressing faster the goswami is think that they don't have any lower because they are on the highest level i told you the example of aircraft aircraft may if this is sea level and if your flight is flying at this level okay you are flying at 800 kilo 800 kilometers per hour but you don't even feel mudda kya hai bhai kuch aircraft move hi nahi ho raha hai kidhar bhi nahi ja raha hu sab cloud aise ke aise hi dikh rahe hain ye aircraft ruka hua hai chal raha hai but then when the aircraft comes to the ground level then you realize aap oh, pure i was traveling so fast so bhakti process is like that the more and more we are in bhakti the less we will feel that we are at how fast we are traveling but we are traveling very fast we are so we are not on the uh, air, what is that staircase or uh, escalator but yes because anartha nivritti we have not got taste as yet so other allurements will be there in our life so therefore we are saying that the so what is the final conclusion the final conclusion is very simple one is pray to the lord talk to your mind understand yourself don't don't we should not get fooled by our mind into thinking we are more advanced than what we actually are so we have to first of all understand where we are so we have to do chintan man talk to our own mind and understand what do i want in life and then pray to the lord to remove those to to, to help okay come to the platform of sincere prayer okay and do the process very sincerely of chanting attentive chintan to the extent that we are doing sincerely to the extent we will reciprocate ye eta man that is all we can do this is at the grass, grassroots level there is nothing much we can do or or kuch karne ki bhi zarurat nahi sab all problems are because of inattentive chanting all problems in our life are because of inattentive chanting there is nothing else it may seem very simple just like swimming to swim the swimming pool of 100 meters also you have to do same thing to swim the soez canal also you ko jaisa alag dancing nahi karna padta to swim the soez canal again the process is same process right so big problem small problem lamba chota mota chauda all problems because of are hidden in insincere chanting and when we chant we have to pray to the lord when we chant also we have to pray when we chant usually we are only worried about the time ऐसा टाइम देखते रहते हैं हो गया कितना मिनट बाकी अभी लाइक दैट वन टू थ्री एंड एज वी इनिशियली इट्स साउंड वेरी डिफिकल्ट बट आफ्टर दैट वेडिंग पार्ट थर्टी एंड फोर्टी जनरल रियली ना लाइक सांग 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 and the motivation to do that will come only by hearing so this that's why the combination is there every day if you hear lecture only we will get some kind of a thoda bahut motivation aayega to chant attentively if we don't hear only then who is going to motivate us somebody externally has to tell us we always need others to tell us where we are without that we will you know, we will give ourselves self certificate all right yes please is that is that because we are actually are traveling into different worlds We are traveling in two different worlds. Words, words, words. Yeah, words. Words. Uh, words. Yeah, yeah, because we have a desire for bhakti. No doubt about that. We are attracted to the spiritual world, but that attraction is uh, the attraction to the material world is much greater right now. I mean, the sincerity in chanting. Ha. Huh. Is it because we are traveling? Because because of the other world, we get disturbed. No, no. We are only in one world. We are in the material world. <laughs> <laughs> we are not in two worlds. We are trying. We are. We are. We are trying to escape the material world. So we are going to the. Oh, Bhagwan, a little gate opens. Okay, let's run away from the gate. Outside, we are going to 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 the gate. We we did the exercise last time. If Krishna comes right now and calls everyone, चलो भाई रथ खड़ा है बाहर अभी, 
कौन सा स्टेट है इंटरसेंट स्टेट में आपका रथ पुष्प अभिमान इज रेडिंग आ जाइए भागवतम कैंटो थ्री चैप्टर ट्वेंटी नाइन टेक्स्ट थर्टीन एक ही प्लान में रहना जहां भगवान के साथ उसी प्लान में रहो 
Golok Gandhara or Vaikuntha planet living in the same planet as the Lord. Salok Chetri. Sarishti having the same opulences of the Lord. Samapya means proximity to the Lord. Not only in the planet but proximity, very close proximity to the Lord. Sarupya means having the same roop. Roop. Having the same bodily features. And ekatva means oneness or merging with the impersonal effulgence of the Lord. In Hindi we say Sagun Sakar Nirgun Nirakar. Nirgun. Nirgun Nirakar means the Lord's formless aspect. The Lord has got form as well as formlessness. Depends on what you are attracted to. Mayavadis or impersonal, sorry, Brahmavadis. Mayavadis anyway, we will not talk about them. But impersonalists or Brahmavadis are more attached to the to merging, becoming one with the Lord. Okay? Huh? Correct? Now what is the problem with oneness with the Lord? There is no relationship with the Lord. Many people say, first Bhagwan ki Brahma Jyoti me vilin ho jana chata hu, ek ho jana chata hu. Bas. Many times in lectures we have heard that. I want to become one. In oneness, there is no reciprocation of love that is possible with the Lord. Just like a mother, you know, if the mother's, initially the mother and child in the womb are one. In one sense they are one, right? But still the mother is always waiting for the child to come out so that there can be a reciprocation of love. She doesn't say, Hamlo do na ek ho jayenge, chalo, ab wapas pet mein jau. Hamlo ek, ek, oneness, oneness, oneness. It's almost like that. So oneness mein there is no reciprocation. Reciprocation means duality. That is why Madhuvacharya came and preached Dvaitam. Duality philosophy. Not Advaitam. Oneness. So, Ekvatva, devotees never desire at all. In fact, it is said that the Ekvatva is demonic. It's a demonic desire for a devotee. Rupa Goswami condemns that. The Vaishnava Acharyas condemn the desire for impersonal liberation because Usme koi ras hai hi nahi. There is no ras. There is no relationship. There is no mellow in impersonalism. But the Acharyas also say that in the realm of pure bhakti, there is no space for even these things. That is why they are saying, Sarokya Sarishti Samipya Sarupya Ekatvam Abhiyutam Diya Manam Na Grihananti Matlab kya hai? Mujhe Diya to bhi mein grihan nahi karne wala. Diya Manam. Main kut de raha hon. Krishna is telling his devotee. Boss, I am giving you all these things. Diya Manam Na Grihananti. Main nahi lene wala hon. Why? Vina Mat Seva Nam Janata. Kyunki usme meri seva nahi hai. There is no seva to me. All that a pure devotee wants is to serve the Lord. He doesn't care whether on the same planet he serve kare. He doesn't care that you keep me in This is the realm of pure bhakti. What is that verse? Aslisya va padaratam pinastuma adarshanam adarshanam narmahasham karvatuva yatha tatha va vidadatu lampato mat prana nata sudu evana parara. Oh my Lord, you may ignore me. You may treat me whichever way. You may handle me roughly by your embrace and not be present before me. However, I am always, you are always my worshipful Lord unconditionally. So, no condition is not. Bhala, you keep me in my house or Amir will make me in my house. Doesn't matter. Bhala, even if you handle me roughly by your embrace or make me broken hearted by not being present before me. Which means what? He is depriving you of proximity. Right? In any situation, you are my and na janam na dhanam na sundari. What is this? Sarupya talks about sundari. Whereas this verse says what? Ye sab mujhe kuch interest nahi hai isme. Because vina mat seva naam janara. Because isme meri seva nahi hai. 
That is the understanding of moksha. And the devotee derives the conception of liberation. So that you feel that the same, the same sarupya, that means the vacuum of God, everyone is like Vishnu, they have phone and did whatever. So there's no seva in those lokas, like you know, because you got the same opulence, you may have got the, but constitutionally, like you know, you will just still serve it. Uh, you, are, you are still serving, doesn't mean that people who are you know, having the 400 teachers of the Lord don't serve the Lord. In fact, because they are servants of the Lord, that's why they have got 400. But please understand the mood of the Acharyas. What they are saying is, I don't seek these things. These are the external features. I don't seek these things. They will anyway come as a byproduct of bhakti. Please understand that part. So people have, who have got it, they have got it as a byproduct of their bhakti. Not because they said, Oh Lord, let me have four hands. There are two hands in my problem. Correct? Four hands, you can imagine. Who is physiotherapist? Who is physiotherapist? Yes. No, neither one. If you have four hands, you can go where? What's up? Yes. 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 Okay. So, if you get in this world, of course, we can't. If you get 400 forms, people will not think you are divine. People will think you are deformed. Correct? So, yeah, these are all byproducts of living in the spiritual world. They will all come anyway, but we don't seek that. That is why it is said, moksha, it is said, the Acharya say, the moksha stands with folded hands at the doorstep of a devotee. She is waiting. Moksha Devi is waiting. He please leave mujhe. And devotee says, nahi, nahi, nahi. Right now I am busy with the Lord service. So that is the mood of the Acharya. So that is the characteristic of devotee service. So when we go into the platform of Nishtha, then there will be no desire for moksha. Because now we are we are consistent in our bhakti, regardless of material situation. So our bhakti is not incumbent on our dependent on our material situation. I understand that point. I'm just sorry, I'm just not trying to understand. Like the salokya. So are we talking about the salokya and the you know the the highest in that in the whole of the Vindavan, are we talking they are going to be in the same planet in the whole of the Vindavan. So if it's going to be a byproduct, I do understand that. But isn't that what we are trying to do? We are trying to go and serve the Lord in the whole of Vindavan in the same constitutional position. So that's why I'm getting confused from like a Salukya you on the same planet. So does it mean like the moksha is actually not giving you the seva? Moksha is giving you seva. We are not seeking moksha. No, no, we are, we are seeking, seeking seva. By seeking seva, moksha is a byproduct. And like, so we don't seek that, but we are by default, but by byproduct. I'll give you a mundane example. Boss will say, okay, kya banna hai? General manager banna hai, vice president banna hai. And an employee, I say employees milte nahi hai, I say boss bhi nahi milta hai. You need to hear or hear. So then you say, Nay, mujhe na GM banna hai, na vice president banna hai. Mujhe to company ki seva karni hai, din raat. Abhi wo karne se aap nahi banna hai GM, VP. Zorur banna hai, you can become. Right, become, of course, not with current bosses. But we are dealing with the perfect boss. Lord Krishna is a perfect boss. Wo aapne to use karke nahi bhanne wala. Talking about basic man conditional law. So he will definitely avoid. But we don't seek these things. We don't seek, Lord, मुझे देर जैसे दिखना चाहिए. That is, what kind of desire? Please give me the same root I have got here. But when you meditate on, it's like Rupa says, when you, when you keep the iron rod in the fire, then the iron rod gets the properties of the fire. So जितना जितना भी वो Involved in that, then we will get all those auspicious qualities of Lord Krishna, which is again we discussed here. All the auspicious qualities of the Devi Devata will come on, will be awarded to a pure devotee. Okay. I wanted to cover the chapter, but we couldn't. So we will do these two points in the next class. Why is your question?
Sorry, we covered three, no? Yes. Yeah, so we oh, sorry, what did I say? Sorry. So three. Yes. Yeah. Right, so you'll cover these three. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I have a question. So, out of these ones, yeah. I mean, I would love to find the least, but because we are really merging with the actual then, so that's the least sort of mukti. Not uh, least mukti, yes. In fact, uh, people don't, the acharyas don't consider it also as a mukti. They don't even speak about sayujya, sayujya mukti, same as ekatva. The acharyas don't even talk about, they say, how can you, how can you even think of merging with the Lord? You know, it's like that. It's, it's in one sense it's an abominable thought itself for a Vaishnav. Sayuja. There is one more verse you can note down as a cross reference. Srimad Bhagavatam 6.17.28. Srimad Bhagavatam 6.17.28, which we discussed in the last class, so again I will not repeat. Narayana Parasarve Nakutaschara Bipyati. Swarga, Apavarga, Narakeshu, Api Tulyata Darshana. Prabhu Bodh Avajitra. Can someone just... Time of the day, I will not use Huh? Time of the day, just... It's okay, we can try at least. Two minutes. Just like chanting, we can try at least a candle. Yeah. Like our mind only, that's why. Yeah. So, this means what? That a devotee doesn't care for Swarga. Swarga means? Heavenly planets, Appa Varga means liberation and Narakeshu means hellish planets. Swarga, Appa Varga, Narakeshu, Api Tuleta Darshan. So a pure devotee of Lord Narayana, who is very rare, does not care for any of these circumstances. His only desire is to serve the Supreme Lord. Okay. So you have one question Prabhuji. So I'll answer your question and then end the class because there is some three more minutes I need towards the end. Yeah. Five minutes I need about that. Or shall I answer it in the next class, if you don't mind? Huh? But keep your question. Your question is important. So next class you please ask. Srila Prabhupada ki. Yeah.